what's going on everyone, it's Green Zero and I'm back here once again bringing you another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. I do apologise for not bringing you a VOD last week, I was busy, ah, busy, very busy in real life, so had some events and stuff that I had to, to go to and there's just a lot of lot of things I was doing, so I didn't get time to make a VOD, um, had a little bit of time to play but I was trying to get in Ladder Wars, um, so I really couldn't uh, spend too much time watching a lot of replays and VODing, but anyway, here we are, I have been working on my VODs by the way, hopefully... Uh, everyone's been going up and down about those little bars that you have at the top of the screen that had the players' names and colour and stuff like that, so hopefully I'll be implementing that now. I've been mixing up my VODs a little bit, I've uh, changed programs to Sony Vegas 10, let's see how that goes. Uh, nothing set in stone, so uh, anyway, let's stop talking about the boring crap that no one gives a crap about, and let's jump into this game. We have Kimbo Sabi playing as the GDI, he's on the top here. Uh, Kimbo Sabi, he, I've only seen him recently turn up and he seems to be a pretty good uh, mid player uh, leaning towards uh, starting to become actually quite good at the game so uh, I think he's still learning but he, he's definitely uh, he's definitely quite um, interesting to watch I mean he's very solid I think he's from Tiberium Wars not, not quite too sure I haven't followed Tiberium Wars for a while here and he is against Beat Forward Beat Forward why are you playing as Mock? he's playing as Mock that's not that's not right. He's normally a GDI. He's a very strong GDI ground player, but I think he has a little bit of problem with getting locked in his base. He gets locked in his base by the other opponent, then he can never get out and do anything offensive. But he is marked of Kane. I don't know how, how well he's going to go with this. He's actually trying to go for a spike. That's really risky. I mean, especially since um, I think it's a random v random fight, so um, they don't know what each other is. But we can see here this rifleman squad is about to dig in, and that is going to end his chances for uh, capturing that spike. And he didn't even turn his uh, guys around, so. That was uber bad, so he's like, uh, he's gonna move his saboteur, probably go for the other spike, looks like Kimbasabi didn't worry about that one. He's sending his engineer down here, he's got two rifleman squads down there, oh he needs to watch out, he's uh, wandered a little bit too close here, he's gonna lose a scouting squad, that's bad at the start of the game, because he is against a Nod faction, and bikes are a real threat at this stage of the game. Alright, just uh, readjusting my microphone there, it's not sitting on like a, a, a spindle of DVDs uh, to raise it up off the desk a little bit there, so... <laughs> It's uh, it, it fell a little bit, so anyway, I'll stop talking about that. Um, again, super boring. Uh, beat forward, moving his engineer across uh, down here. I would have thought he would have gone up here. He's got scouts here, he knows there's nothing there. He's taking his sweet time getting that spike, and uh, again, I'm not sure how well he performs as a nod faction, so I've never really even seen him play a nod faction before. So um, he's got, got some bikes here, he's got three bikes, that's the minimum for a rush. Let's see if he's going for another one. I think he may be going for, no, what's he got? He's going for... Now he's going for a fourth bike that's building way too fast to be a harvester. So he's going for a fourth bike, he's about to capture this spike here, but Kimbasabi's picked up on it. He might be able to cut that engineer off, he's going to cut through the buildings, oh he's squeezing through there, I don't know how he managed to squeeze through, there's a tiny little gap, but now Beat Forward's realised but it's too late, oh man, Beat Forward. Beat Forward. He couldn't have done a worse job on that, that open game there. Four, harvest here, ah, four harvesters for Kimbasabi, two harvesters. Four beat forward, obviously, because he's gone for bikes. Hopefully, he didn't just send them to wherever there are um, scouts. I'm not sure where they are. Where are they? This really bad radar. There they are. They're over here. So he obviously sent them around to avoid scouts. That's a good idea. And Kim Bursabi has packed up his construction yard, and it's on Tiberium. He might be able to destroy that. Oh man, rear armor as well. Oh, it's rear armor. He's shooting the rear armor. Oh man, beat forward. Beat forward. That is very nice indeed. I mean, a bit of luck that it was driving over the Tiberium there. And they fight at the rear armor. Uh, MCDs really have no health at all whatsoever anyway. And he gets a harvester as well. Oh man, Kimbasabi. Oh, that just turned the game completely around. Lost his MCV and a harvester. He's got to watch out. These two harvesters here will actually try to mine the tiny itty bit of, bitty, a bit of tib here and then go back. So you really got to watch out for that when you lose harvesters. You should reorder some of the other harvesters uh, to go back and mine. Look at that. He's done it too. That's very nice. It's something a lot of people don't even pick up on in Kimbasabi has just proven himself a little bit better there by picking up on that and getting that one back to harvest at a full load here. So well done there. Looks like this one's going to go pick up that tiny little bit there. Let's see if he micros that one. Meanwhile, he's attacking Beat Forward's base who still has... No, he's got three harvesters there. And he's got a couple of score tanks. Nice micro getting the wounded one back to base. That's very good. These pebbles are going to continue to harass, but there's, there's four score tanks there now. They're probably not going to get much. Oh, Beat Forward, you're sending that one back a little bit too soon. Uh, here we go, one of those harvesters, no, it is waiting for the refinery, but that's okay, that's forgivable. He got one of them, so uh, that was pretty good. Beat forward, needs repairs, buddy, leave it there. Uh, he's just selecting all of his scorpion tanks. Is he going to lose one? He is going to lose one. The, the people's focus went down, but a few pits go down, maybe just one, two. Yes, I think two. Pr 
probably not three, I think it would have just been two, but that was all right. Kibasabi not rebuilding his construction yard. He's got four and two. I mean, he can just pump uh, whatever he wants out of this war factory. He's going to be just uh, bulking cash up like crazy soon, and he's going to need silos because he can't. He's got too much economy to spend on just one war factory there. Uh, he's yeah, he's bringing in too much tier here. And what is B4 going to do? He hasn't got enough tanks. He should really group them together. That one's getting repairs, but these two are going to get overwhelmed. There's too many pitbulls. B4 has overstepped his mark. You really got to watch out with scorpion tanks. Scorpion tanks will obviously demolish pitbulls, but if there's just not enough of them, the pitbulls can kite around and snipe them off. And as you can see here, all of a sudden B4 is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, the pitbulls are spraying their shot quite a bit there. He may want to focus them down, and he is going to get another tank, I believe. There you go, a little bit of overkill there. He might want to just have clicked an attack order, then quickly clicked on the other unit so only a few pits would have fired it. That's a little trick I have. But he's going to focus down more tanks, and this is the problem. He needs rocket troopers, man. Oh, beat forward. He's got a lot of economy over there, actually. He's got a ton of economy, but here we go, finally with the racks. And he's going to get some rockets out. Those pitbulls can't do anything. They can't crush. They can't kill infantry. They're terribly bad at it. Unless they have their mortar, which is still... It's all right if you have enough pits, but uh, it will uh, smash infantry if they're clouded up. But anyway, it looks like these rockets are going to come out now, and Kimosabi can't really hope to, to stay here. I mean, he could snipe down some harvesters. He's got still a lot of pits, man. He's just building pits and more and more pits. He's not building his MCV back. And Beat Forward is taking some serious economic loss. He's, he doesn't seem to mind losing some of these pitbulls here. He's destroying all the harvesters. That's quite a good call. He's even attacking the rocket squads, and because they're bunched up, the rockets have splashed. Not the greatest weapon in the world to kill the rockets. You can see there's still five squads there but they will make it away and firing at the rear arm of the Scorpion tanks. B4 is just being run around. I can't believe he can't lock this down. There's even a harvester. Kimber Starby has ordered that harvester there. It's not getting, to, yeah, you can see he's reverse moving as well. He's using it for anti-infantry. Oh man, that is crazy. That is crazy. I've never seen that. Obviously he's got no MCV and he, he can't expand. He's probably got a ton of cash, like I said, because he can't really spend it all from just one war factory. And he has wiped out pretty much everything Beat Forward has here. His pitbulls are getting a little bit low now, and I think, oh no, that's a harvester that came out there, Beat Forward. There is an elite scorpion tank, but it, it does go down. If you got that to rock, it might have been a different story. That harvester being the anti it would have crush and gun them down. And you see that harvester there will be destroyed, but Beat Forward still has this. He's got three and two over here. He really needs to stop uh, this attack right now. He needs to destroy that harvester. Oh, uh, come on. No, what'd you sell your barracks for? Maybe he's trying to imp that unit there. Oh, nice. He got an imp off. That is very good. He needs to destroy it, getting the rockets to destroy that now. That's well done. That harvester has finally been dispatched. I'm surprised it didn't even rank up. That would have been uh, quite hilarious if it did. But there are APCs here now. And all of a sudden he does need scorpion tanks, but the scorpion tanks are coming out. The harvester is micro around the war factory. Beat forward is just under siege. She's getting locked down. And oh, the minefield goes down and that helps finish off that harvester. That's nice work there by Kimasabi. <coughs> He's actually microing quite well in this game, isn't he? He's destroyed so much stuff, he's getting the minefields down. It's a good idea to move out of the minefield once you place it down. Uh, you can actually waypoint a reverse move, so you can order the mines down, hold your waypoint key down, and reverse move. And the, uh, the APC drives in, drops the minefields, and instantly reverse moves out. And look at that, those mines are still capping off uh, units over here. And Predator tank there now as well. Oh man, most of the mines have been cleaned up, but they've destroyed quite a few of these Scorpion tanks, helping to damage them now. But I think Kimbasabi may need to retreat. Uh, looks like uh, Beat Forward has uh, managed to keep this economy over here intact. He's only got three harvests left. He's lost a ton of harvests this game. And Kimbus Arby, did you just sell both your refineries? What is going on? Why haven't you built an MCV yet? All his harvests are coming down now. Oh man, he is all in. He is all in here. I'm not sure. He, he's caused so much damage to Beat Forward that he could have just re-MCV'd and he'd be, he'd be set. He has more harvests. Uh, he just needs one ref as expansion. He's got more units. Um, of course he's coming down now, he's got to do something about these rocket squads here. The only thing he's got to counter these scorpion tanks are really, I mean those pit bulls can destroy them if they're not fired at first, but uh, the APCs can't really do much uh, if anything against them. And here come the harvesters now, they're even full of Tiberium, one of them is anyway. So when that dies it's going to hurt infantry, but running past that garrison structure isn't the best thing in the world, those units there being destroyed. Kimasabi has one spike, he's got one squad in there, but again he's just got a war factory and a power plant. Oh man, I can't believe he sold himself out of the game. He'd caused so much, so much, not trouble, but so much damage. He could have just re-MCV'd and he'd just still be so far ahead. But now, uh, of course, he hasn't done that. He sold everything. He needs to kill Beat Forward right now. I'm not sure how he's going to do it. Here he comes. He really doesn't have that much at all, but neither does Beat Forward. He's actually got a Tiberium Trooper squad. Here we go. One Harvester is down, but all the infantry are pretty much down now. Just about to kill the last of those uh, militant rocket squads. Just using the guns on the Harvesters here now. And he's going to roll in. Oh man, all those units getting cleaned up. There's actually rifles inside the APCs, and that, that is going to prevent them from being uh, 
somewhat empty, if they're empty, the, the garrison units can still fire outside even if, if the APC can't. Is he going to drop more minefields? Oh man, somehow he's overwhelmed Big Forward's forces here. What has he got left? He's got nothing. He's got a scorpion tank. And oh man, his harvesters are starting to go down. There is one harvester, two harvesters remaining, and he's going to get another harvester there. Oh man, Big Forward, he's just getting, oh, he has totally underestimated this kind of aggression. This has been non-stop since the start of the game. Kim Basabi has just, uh, really, he didn't want to let that go. And he took a massive, massive risk by selling up his refs and just going uh, all into this attack. But somehow he's come out ahead with quite a lot of units. He's got four pits, he's got two APCs, he's got three Predator tanks and a harvester still there. And uh, what is Big Forward going to do? He has some economy over here, a little bit of economy. And he could probably sell up. He just needs to defend this out. I don't think he realizes that Kimbasabi has nothing, pretty much nothing left. He, he's got no scouts, no eyes on the map. He's got some eyes up here, but uh, he probably doesn't even realize that Kimbasabi has nothing left but a war factory and a power plant. He really needed something to go check out, scout it out, see, hey, look, he's sold everything. Let's just defend this out and I'll win. But he couldn't even do that. He was trying to split between tech and eco, and he is being uh, ripped to pieces here, beat forward. Oh, man. I mean, uh, you can't really blame him too much. Kimbasabi just didn't want to let that go. He's just so aggressive, and uh, Big Forward obviously underestimated the power here. Of course, he's not a mock player. He's a GDI player, but still, he should have been able to hold that out, I would have thought. Um, I, would, uh, I would guess that his skill levels may be higher than Kimbasabi's, but Kimbasabi, uh, like I said, he's been getting a, a, quite a lot better since uh, the, the last time I played him. I've seen him defeat quite a lot of opponents. Uh, yes, reminiscent, reminiscent of Tiberium Wars playstyle, but as you can see here, He's going to take this game. That war factory is going to go down. And Beat Forward has... He's got no income. He's got nothing. I don't even think he can build anything. I think he's just saying his GG's right now. He's like, what can I possibly do uh, to stop this? I've got nothing. And popping a rack over here now. <coughs> oh, man. There we go. And, yeah, Beat Forward. He uh, doesn't want to sell out of the game. I think he's just... Yeah, there we go. And that is going to be the end of the game. So, what an aggressive game. Not very long indeed, but... Oh, man. That was, I haven't seen something like that for a long time, and that was good. It wasn't if any players really made some, some uh, incredible mistakes. I mean, Kimbasabi was expected to expand and move his MCV across his field, and then the bikes came out of the fog, so he really, he got caught out, out of position. Um, it's really just a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill from Beat Forward, realizing he had an opportunity to destroy the Conyard and did. Kimbasabi trying to reverse move it out of there, but from the rear armor and the bike rockets, that was the end of that. And look at the money, oh man, look at that, Kimbasabi. He sold up all of his refs at the 7 minute mark, and that game went for 11 and a half minutes. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 and a half minutes there, he was on a spike. So that was crazy bad, and uh, Beat Forward actually spent the last 2 minutes on nothing as well, you can see there. But yeah, Kimbasabi ahead obviously, because he was winning out in the, the early game there, and then uh, lost his MCV. And once his tip field dried out, which was uh, probably around this, year, this time here, he really couldn't uh, contend with Beat Forward's uh, more spending on economy there. So that was bad structures. <laughs> Look at that, Kimasabi, no structures, That's that's got to be wrong, yeah, that's, that's definitely not not correct there. Uh, beat forward there, up and down. Units, here we go. Uh, beat forward, losing out at the start, and Kimasabi lost a lot of his main attack force. I thought it was going to re-MCV here, but he didn't, he kept pushing it, and he managed to stay ahead of beat forward, which he really needed to do, and then at the final engagement, he managed to come out ahead on top, so that was really good. A kill death ratio was 1.84, so that really uh, mattered in that game to 0.53 for beat forward. And the Pitbull was a favorite unit compared to the Rocket Squad for Beat Forward. Uh, like I said, 11 and a half minutes there, so that was quite short, but you can't deny that was, that was pretty interesting to watch. 38,437 to Kimbasabi, 53,522 to Beat Forward, so he had an advantage of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. $15,000 in favor of Beat Forward, which for an 11 minute game is a nice advantage there. Considering he was on the defense, he really should have been able to defend that out. I think he underestimated Kimbasabi's aggression. He didn't realize that he just sold everything and gone all in. I didn't even think that would work, but it somehow it did. Uh, Beat Forward actually being forced to sell 20 structures there. How many structures did he create? He created 31 structures to Kimbasabi's seven. Oh man, someone's got to re rewrite the tactic books on that one because it's not as if these players are bad. They're actually quite good. Beat Forward, very good player, top 20. And uh, Kimbasabi, is, he's been in the top 20 and I was surprised he was there, but uh, I've been watching a, a quite a few, uh, been observing quite a few replays from him and he's been quite good, so I um, might have to watch out for him. But that was a crazy game. That was a very good game. I hope you all enjoyed that VOD and I will see you all next time.